Um, je vous remercie. I want to thank you, Mr. Speaker, for giving me the opportunity to speak on the speech from the throne. Of course, start by thanking the, the residents of Ottawa Centre for giving me this incredible honour and opportunity to serve them in this House. I want to welcome all the members to my riding of Ottawa Centre as well as we feel quite privileged as often referred to as riding number one in Canada, where all our national institutions are located, where decisions are made for the well-being of our country. And I'm excited to see so many of members uh, make Ottawa Centre their second home while they're here serving their constituents. Speakers, Ottawa Centre has been my home for uh, decades. This is where both my children uh, were born. Um, and this is where uh, they go to school. My son, Rafi Nakwi, who's nine years old. My daughter, Eliana Nakwi, who's five. I uh, would be excited to know that they were mentioned today in the house as we talked about this a little bit yesterday. Ms. Enfa, Rafi, and Eliana frequent on a my children go to a French language public school in the writing. That I have to work on my French and my yes. French accent, and I continue to commit to them uh, that I will do so. Je m'engage à continuer. I have committed to them to continuing to, to learn French. It's important to me. Speaker, I had the great honor of, of serving the writing of Ottawa Centre as a member of provincial parliament for almost 11 years. And, and as a result, I have uh, built deep connection within the community. I know our neighborhoods, I have those community connections where we have worked together on issues that are important to our community. From protecting our waterways like the Ottawa River or the, or the, or the Rideau, Rideau River or Rideau Canal, making sure that our pro-secondary institutions like Carlton University that's located in my writing can continue to thrive and helping countless individuals whether they are new to Canada and new to the city of Ottawa um, or um, residents who've lived here for a very long period of time. So, Speaker, I just want to say again a big thank you to them. Whether you're from Carlton Heights to downtown or Old Ottawa East to Westboro, for having uh, your faith and trust in me to be your strong voice here um, uh, in this great house. I would be remiss, Speaker, if I did not take some time to thank my parents, Anwar and Kasser Nakvi. Speaker, my family and I came to Canada almost uh, 33 years ago. We moved to Niagara Falls where we made our home and, and like any newcomer family, we worked hard so that my parents could ensure that all of us could have a better life. The circumstances under which my parents left was not ideal. Both my parents were involved in pro-democracy movement in the country of my birth speaker. In fact, my father led a pro-democracy march, and for that he was arrested, tried in a military court, and served nine months as a political prisoner. I was 10 years old, speaker. You can imagine the profound impact of that experience on me to this day. I saw my father's pursuit to stand up for democratic rights, and I saw my mother fight for his rights while he was imprisoned while raising a family, running a law practice, so that we are all taken care of. So you can imagine, Speaker, where my drive for public service comes from and how indebted I feel to this great country of Canada who's given us the opportunity to live in a free country and be able to de devote my professional life to serve my community and to serve my country. Now, Speaker, I got often asked uh, in the last federal election, why did I decide to come back to public service and put my name forward to be the member of parliament for Ottawa Centre? And I thought quite deeply about it. And the answer was simple, that we find ourselves living in a very pivotal moment. This pandemic has impacted all of us. It has really has shown a light on the inequities that exist in our society, and this is our opportunity. This is our opportunity, Speaker, to rebuild Canada in the most inclusive way, to make sure that we, no one is left behind. Speaker, we often talk about building back better. Well, here's my take. We cannot build back better by building back the same. And therefore, Speaker, the issues that I identify that were important to me 
such as making sure that we're ending chronic homelessness in our communities, and I want to do that in my city of Ottawa, that we fight climate change so that our children have a better future, and that we put an end to systemic racism, systemic barriers against indigenous, black, and people of color. It's the kind of thing, Speaker, that I want to work with all members and champion in this house. And I was so excited, I was so heartened to see very precise language in the speech from the throne on all those three issues. And I look forward to working with the government. I look forward to working with every member of this house on these important issues, because that is how we're going to build a Canada for everyone. So, Speaker, as my time is winding down, here's a commitment that I want to make today in my inaugural speech. And please hold me to account if I don't live up to my commitment. And that is that I am 100% committed to serving my community and my country. And I want to do that by working with every member of this House. We all have come here because we want to challenge the status quo. That's how we have knocked on doors and we've asked for that mandate. We may have different ways of getting to that, but in the end of the day, we all want to build a better country, and I want to work with you, regardless of your political affiliation. There's a Latin uh, phrase that often um, uh, has been uh, I reminded of, and that is audi altrum partum, listen to the other side. So my commitment is that I will listen to you, and I will pay attention. We may disagree, we may debate, as the case should be in a democratic society, but we shall work together. So, Speaker, thank you for this opportunity, for letting me uh, uh, introduce myself to this, uh, to this House. I look forward to working hard on behalf of my community of Ottawa Centre, and I thank them and thank my family for getting me to the point where I am here today. Merci, c'est un honneur de servir. Thank you. It's an honour to serve Ottawa Centre. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Oh, hey, questions and comments.